freedom. Today I want to talk to you about one of our partners named Watson. Some of you who remember Rehash, which was a show on this channel about this time last year, might remember us talking to him. But he has actually had a lot of success marketing himself on Facebook, so he wanted to talk to you about how you might be able to kind of repeat some of those steps with some of your clips. I've talked several times in the past about building your portfolio, and so has Adam on this channel previously. Building your portfolio is important, and hopefully this will give you some insight into how to build your portfolio with these awesome little clips and highlight reels so that you can market yourself and your channel. So, take it away, Watson. Thanks, Anthony. So here's my tip. First of all, I'm Watson. I've been a Freedom Partner for about a year now, maybe just over a year. So today I want to share with you guys my experience of promoting my content and how some of my videos became viral, just so that you guys can hopefully maybe repeat some of the steps I did and have the same success. So after about a year on YouTube, I was stuck on about 50 subscribers and I was getting literally no views and I was like, all right, okay. <laughs> This is tragic. Then in July 2015, this all changed. Now the current trend at the time was this thing called the Don't Judge Me Challenge. And it was like all over Facebook and Twitter and YouTube and everything. And it was basically where people would cover their face with fake spots and like draw them on a brow or something. And then they put their hand to the camera and then they'd take their hand away and then they'd be this like really attractive person. It's probably still the cringiest thing I've ever seen. Now I created a video where I reacted to these really cringy videos and posted it on my YouTube channel. Now at the time it probably got like a hundred views, few likes, it wasn't really that popular. But I had a feeling about this video. Like, I don't I don't want to sound arrogant at all but I don't know like from reaction from friends and some comments people were like how has this not got more views so in the UK there's this huge Facebook page called Unilad and I messaged them on their website and submitted my video to them and they sort of promote content like sort of comedy videos skits fails things like that and that day they replied saying how much they loved the video and whether they could re-upload it on their Facebook page. Long story short, they put the video on their Facebook page, it received 20 million views in two days, and it's sitting on about 32 million views right now, and it's still getting liked and shared and all that stuff. It's insane. So how does this relate to you guys? It doesn't. I just wanted to brag about it. See you later, Anthony. Sucker. I'm out. I get a lot of hate for that. Now, but on a serious note, you guys need to understand that YouTube videos don't sell themselves. At the end of the day, your videos are a product and you've got to sell it. As much as we hope this happens, you can't just upload a video onto your YouTube channel and then expect it to suddenly get an abnormal amount of views overnight. It's not going to happen. Now, of course, collaborations are a key thing echoed by Freedom and a lot of their videos on this channel. And collaborations are great because you can start off with small channels, collaborate with them, then move on to bigger channels as you grow. But I don't know about you guys, for someone like me who doesn't game, like I don't do multiplayer games, I don't do GTA, and I don't really do FIFA videos. Collaborating without actually meeting someone is very difficult. So like nine out of 10 collaborations are gonna be gaming because you don't have to see the person, you can simply play with them online whenever you want. For a channel like me that focuses on sort of solo content, I do voiceovers, I do Q and A's, I do maybe one-off games, which are just solo player. I can't, I find it hard to collaborate with people. So sometimes there's not that option. What you guys need to start doing Doing is reaching out to comedy Facebook pages, people that are looking to promote your content on their platform. And it's super easy to submit your content to them. Now, of course, there's a huge chance that your video may get rejected, but you guys wouldn't still be making YouTube videos right now if you gave up that easily. Now, I'm going to ask Anthony to uh, put a link in the description to a page that I found. It's a list of websites where you can submit your content to them and they review it. And if they like it, they put it on their pages or their website and things like that, just getting you more promotion. One thing I would suggest is don't waste your time submitting gaming videos. No, I'm sorry, come on. Like, yeah, I know, I know. Kidding. You suck. No disrespect to the gaming community, your videos are great, but these guys aren't looking for 20 minute let's plays. They're looking for very, very concise content. Perhaps something funny happens in a let's play and you could just submit that 30 second clip to them. That could work. Like I know uh, when I did my don't judge challenge video, the video itself that I uploaded to my channel was about five minutes long and the video that I submitted to Unilad was about one to two minutes long. So I cut it down to just the best bit. So yeah, select a few videos that you guys think are your best videos on your channel. YouTube analytics is your friend. You can use that to find out what got the most comments, what got the most likes, 
links to try and decide which video you find the best. And then just submit it to them. Just submit your video and, you know, hope for the best. Anyway, I really hope that helps. Make sure you guys check out my channel. It's View Watson. Yeah, Anthony, if you could just go ahead and put yeah, my channel in the description. Free promotion. Anyway, guys, I will see you over on that channel. Thank you guys for watching. Back to you, Anthony. Peace. Thank you so much, Watson. I appreciate you coming to talk to the Freedom Family. If you want to check out Watson, link in the description where you can find his channel. And yeah, if you have any tips that you want to deliver in video, if you've had any good experiences, let us know in the comment section down below. And who knows, maybe I'll feature you too. Anyways, till next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and do all those things that make us love our jobs. Also, be awesome to yourselves and amazing to each other. Bye, Freedom Family. I can't believe I made it through the entire video without an elementary, my dear Watson, joke. <laughs>